What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today I wanted to show you all an app related to the video I did earlier this week talking about getting Windows 11 on ARM. Um, in that video I had you guys go to uupdump.net uh, I believe is what it was to download uh, whatever ISO for Windows 11 or even Windows 10 that you wanted to do on VM or whatever you wanted. Uh, but I just found that somebody actually finished making a complete GUI, graphical user interface, for said service. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. This was apparently uh, made by a person, I hope I'm right, named Gustav Monse or Monke. I don't know how to say it. Um, and he made the GUI for it. So now let's jump into it. So here it is right here. This is UUP Media Creator. It is. It does say it is by IT Dev Team, but apparently Gustav uh, helped make the GUI for it. This is the GUI of that whole website interface to download it. It is a wizard essentially that guides you to creating it. So you hit next when you install it. And then just like on the website, you see the three different ways you can uh, download Windows. You can have the AMD or x86 64-bit um, ISOs, which and they tell you exactly what everything is for. You can get the x86, um, which will be used on older laptops and desktops. So let's just say for this purpose, I'm doing just x64. So I hit next and it says loading builds. And this just does everything uh, far easier. You don't have to double click any file in your file directory or anything like that. You can just easily just go through the wizard and it does everything for you and in the end it brings out the file that you want exactly how it should be so you can see all of the feature updates and a whole bunch of stuff here you got windows 11 you got windows 10 i believe there's a new build coming out today as a recording on the 13th it's already been leaked um so you can see you got plenty of builds for windows so let's say we want the latest windows 11 insider preview 22471 you can hit next and it says loading languages. This lets you pick whatever language you want the build to actually run uh, by default at start. So you can pick the languages that you want. In my case, I am US English. Hit next. And then you can choose the Windows Edition, Core, Core N, Professional, Professional N. I'm not too sure what N stands for at the end. I'll look that up later on. But in this case, let's just say we want Professional and hit next. And then you see these things, LZX, LZMS, and Express, and they what I like about this wizard is uh, he breaks it down to so that you can easily understand what these things are if you're just moderately technical. So LZX is the default option, good balance between size, performance, and resource utilization, whereas LZMS is a compact option. Um, resulting media size will be the smallest possible, but will use much more resources. Um, so it uses more processor intensive. And then the quickest one, Express, uh, leans lean on resource utilization but will not be as compact as LZ or LZX. In my case, I'll just pick the default LZX, hit next. And then it says, okay, this is the build that you're gonna create um, and it's gonna come out as an ISO. So you can pretty much mount it to any kind of uh, virtual hard drive type thing. You can mount it to just install on your laptop like normal. You don't need to use virtual machine. Um, so then it tells you where do you wanna save it to. So in my case, let's say I wanna save it uh, I have a builds folder right here and I want to save it and I want to name it and then let's type in win 11. So that's going to be my file name and it, it'll be a disk image file and then you hit save. And then when you hit save, you see right there, it's taking you through that directory. You hit next and then it compiles the whole thing for you, downloads it, compiles it for you. And this gets it right from Microsoft servers. So it's pretty straightforward. And then once this is done, um, it'll give you a new prompt, which I will jump back into the video when it is done to show you uh, just where the file is, how it looks like, so that you know what to identify in comparison to the video that I made earlier this week. And now that it's done, it tells you here that going back, uh, hitting next will take you back to the beginning where you can do this again, or you can just hit close. So in my opinion, I'm just gonna hit close because I don't need this anymore. Hit close and then locate wherever you chose to save it. In my opinion, if I open up my file explorer, I have a tab here for builds. And by the way, this application that I'm using is the files app um, that I covered in the past. And I'll make a video on that in the future. This is that new files version two app. And I let it replace my 
file explorer finally and so here it is here's the file right there that i just told you guys how to download and it works for all the files on there you see the amount of the size of it you can mount it you can do everything with it just like that and there you go so that was it that was uup media center you see that or media creator by gustav and the it dev team um, they have a few other apps out there i haven't tried out yet but this is their most like the one that you probably are gonna use the most if you plan on trying to get windows 11 builds or windows 10 even builds and updates um, without having to go through all the loops of going through the insider program website and all that stuff so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this application is it useful for you does it solve some of your little gripes of having to dig in deeper on microsoft's website my name is kwaku and i'll catch you guys in the next one